$2 Tuesday at One Oak Field was the attraction for what Drillers fans hoped would be the end of a four-game skid. Once the hottest team in all of minor league baseball, the Drillers could only have dropped in savvy from there, and they have. Tulsa was doing its best to fight off the Springfield Cardinals at home in game two of the three-game series and try to avoid what would be a five-game losing streak and would match a season high in that category. In the third, the Drillers were off and running with Kyle Farmer, who returned to the club from the DL for the first time in two months. Farmer's RBI double scores Tim LaCastro on the play, and Tulsa was up 1-0 at that point. In the fifth, with Tulsa up 2-1 now, Jacob Scavuzzo kangaroo kicks the solo Blastoise out of the ballpark and gives the Drillers a 3-1 lead, a lead that they would hold on through most of the game. Most of the game. Because in the eighth, same score, the driller killer Paul DeYoung chunks a frustrating two-out, two-RBI double into right center field. And the game was knotted up at three as we went into extras. In the tenth with one out, Alan Staten sends a nice high pop fly to the right field corner to score Juan Herrera. And that was enough to win it for the Cards. But that's not the whole story. The drillers left seven runners on base between the eighth, ninth, and tenth and blew their fair share of opportunities to win the game despite DeYoung's heroic two RBI double. So a frustrating start to the homestand has found the Drillers now in third place in the Texas League North as Tulsa will look to battle back. The climb to the top of the standing starts Wednesday night for Bark in the Park at One Oak Field.